I really hate this 15 minute time limit that YouTube puts me on. <laughs> you know, but at the same time, it's my fault. But, you know, at this point, I wish they would just let me put as, as long as videos I want. I kind of get why they don't because shows and stuff take. But honestly, if I really wanted to bootleg something or pirate something, it's easy for me to put it in parts. At this point, this is just kind of hindering what I can do for my channel. I could just put one long video instead of two. But I mean, I guess some people like to watch it in, in parts. But. Yeah, so, oh, well, you know what, and, and and if you guys watch, like, another sport, because of what I mentioned in soccer, like, you guys don't like the flopping, basketball, kind of the same thing. There are some players out there that don't do it, like, Kevin Durant, dude is a straight beast, man. I, I like him. He reminds me of an old school player, you know, James Harding, same same type of same type of guy, you know, just the, just the balls to the wall type player, and I respect guys like that, you know, like, I really do respect guys like that. I really, I really do like that. Um... But, you know, like, I know, like, there's a, a segment of people, not just in North America, but literally around the world, too, because it's one of those games that, or one of those sports that does take place in other parts of the world, hockey. You know, people watch hockey for that same reason, because, you know what, in hockey, you you really, I mean, I've seen people fake hits, but it's hard to kind of, it, it's hard for people to kind of pull that off in hockey. Just because if you were to do something like that, you're going to get cracked on the next turn. You know what I mean? Like, it's going to be one of those things, like, you're going to have... If, if you flop to get a penalty in hockey, when those two minutes are up or that five minutes is up, if they call it a major, you know, please believe you're going to have a big target on your back. And you're going to get checked across the wall if that happens. And... So, if, if you're one of those people who likes hockey because of that because it's just like men <laughs> you know like I, I don't watch hockey a lot like I I remember watching hockey during um, during Wayne Gretzky days with the Kings and that's pretty much as far as you know as I've gone with that it's just it, it was like there's, there's just too many games you know like I it, it's I rather play video games for three hours <laughs> than watch sports for three hours you know, I, I'm one of those people. You know, like, I love sports. You know, I like playing them. I like watching them when I'm actually at the arena or at the stadium live. Uh, the only games... The only games that I can watch from beginning to end without being are football games, American football games, and um, and World Cup soccer games. That's, that's really it. Like, other than that, nope, I, I can't do it. I, you know... I've I've tried and I, I just can't. I get bored. Or maybe even playoff games. Like if there's like hockey playoffs, I can probably watch that. If the Kings are in it. If uh, baseball playoffs, I can sometimes watch, but I'll watch even more if my Dodgers are in it. So I mean, it really comes down to uh, situational parts. And I kind of just stopped talking. <laughs> that thought was over. <laughs> so yeah, let me know what, what sports you guys are interested in. Why? That would be kind of awesome. And now that we're kind of in the middle of this game, um, I did have a video. Uh, sorry, I did have a giveaway that I announced on the last video, which is my Madden video. And I'm going to announce it here. It's the same giveaway. It's my Christmas giveaway. Um, comment on either this video or my Madden video. Or videos actually because it's in parts and this will most likely be in parts as well comment and you will be entered for a chance to win a $25 Amazon gift card I had one comment on my last giveaway and you guys are going which giveaway it was during my last FIFA video that that I had oh no oh! <laughs> it was during my last FIFA video and um, I had one comment and the guy won. <laughs> like I said, I don't care if it's if it's one view or a hundred views. Every view means a lot. And he happened to to go through the whole, you know all the videos and was around for the for the giveaway video. 
So I gave him $35 <laughs> in Amazon money, <laughs> which I hope he enjoyed and I hope he was able to use for this holidays on either a new game or a gift for somebody else. I really don't care what he used it for. Um, you know, I'm just happy that somebody was actually able to win. And uh, so, yeah, for this Christmas one, I'll give $25 to one lucky winner out of a pool of people or even if it's just one person who comments on one of these videos either this video or the last video um and we'll go from there oh jeez 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 there we go i didn't touch him he fell no 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 this game has me nervous I want to win the championship for this Division 10. I don't want to get promoted and not win the championship. <laughs> but these games get more difficult and difficult. I believe that the game kind of works on a progressive uh, difficulty system where it feels like if you're too good, it'll make you go up against stronger AI. And the strong AI is, is pretty good. I noticed the same thing in Madden too, like their AI is pretty good in that game. Um What? Come on, that was not offsides. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Out of soccer, that's the one rule I probably hate the most. It is that rule, the offsides rule. I I I kinda get it. But I don't like it when the ball's already across midfield and it still kind of counts. Because cause literally as a defense, you can just kind of be lazy and be like, oh, we're going to let this one guy go ahead. Because if anything happens, you know, if anything happens, well, they're going to call offsides on him. And I don't really like that, especially when it's in the box. Oh, my goodness. When, when an offsides call, when a person gets called offsides in the box, like on an attacking mode, oh, jeez, that... That bugs me to no end. Like literally, that just like that should just be a no call automatically. Especially if you're in the box. Like if the whole squad is in the box, but the one person just happens to be, you know, offsides. And for anybody who doesn't know what offsides is, basically when an offensive player is behind a defensive wall of people, and uh, and up uh, and a forward pass is committed in his you know his vicinity. He's a. Uh, they're awarded an offside, so I, I really don't like that. Shoot it! <laughs> Damn, he blocked it with his face. Come here. Oh, come on, come on. What happened here? Oh, somebody's injured. My, uh, wow, torn. Okay, so I need a right midfielder. Do I even have a right one? No, I don't. He's a 64. Oh, my gosh. Uh, put this guy in. Damn, man, that's somebody I have to replace now. Okay, let's go. And also, if anybody has watched some of my videos lately and feel like the quality is somewhat lacking, can you guys let me know, please? Because to me, I don't know. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, jeez. So I get the draw. I do get the draw. I get the draw and I get, and I get the championship by default. <laughs> By default, the sweetest phrase in the English language. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so if anybody's noticing a, a lack of quality, especially on my PS4 vids, let me know, please, because I don't know if it's just me, but it looks like if you watch stuff on Chrome, it looks worse on Chrome than it does on Firefox. And if... 
you watch it full screen as opposed to on the large player on YouTube, it looks really bad on the full screen, but looks fairly decent on the large screen. It looks its best on the on the default player size, but it tends to look really like at its prime in that large section. And then once you blow it up, it just looks terrible. And it doesn't seem to matter how I record the videos. I just don't know what to do with it. So. If you guys have any suggestions or if you guys think it's lacking somewhere along the lines, let me know so I can try to fix that because I'm all about quality, I'm all about sharing experience, and I don't want to tell you guys how beautiful a game looks, and then you guys look at it as like, well, what is he talking about because this game looks like garbage, <laughs> and I don't want that. Okay, so I finished the draw, I got my one point, so I won the title because I got my 12 points. So what does that mean? Yay! LA, LA fence jumpers, baby! And uh, I won a trophy, won the title. Congratulations, I won 3,800 coins and one bronze pack. So let's see if I can do this in four minutes, because that's how much time I got left. I don't want to make a three-part just so I can make a third part like a minute. So I got to stop talking and be down to business. Okay, so I won that. Now I have these other ones that I can actually enter. And I will most likely be playing, playing this game here off and on on my own without actually recording the matches. And I will, oh the premium packs, is that what I said they were called? I think I said premium packs. I will enter this one next, the Ultimate League. And that's going to be, jeez, it's all hard stuff. And then you see the season rewards, if I get promoted at 3300, if I get the championship is 3700 points and the premium bronze pack. But I will exit for right now and I have three minutes and I have the store and then I have my pack I have my bronze pack because I actually got the bronze pack from the match so here's my pack so once that I get awarded and uh, select that one oh come on three minutes hurry up I like this part <laughs> And uh, I get a striker. I got another English guy, which is kind of cool. I get contracts, which I'm happy about. I get a Spanish badge. I get more badges, kits, and I get a ball. So that's a pretty good pack for free. Um, store all remaining items. Uh, yes, I'll send them all to the club. And the club is pretty much just your reservoir of cards that you're actually able to collect. So with the money I actually have, you know what? I can get I can get a gold pack. Because I have all the gold and stuff from... Oh, I don't have enough for a premium, though. Well, I'm going to get me a gold pack anyways. And like I said, here are your coins that you grind for, or the FIFA points, which is actually real money currency. I have the coins, so it's awesome. See? I, I literally just played one season of it, and I have a gold. Uh, I have enough for a gold pack. Like I said, you can grind your way. That's why I love I loved this mode so much. I love... It. It's so great. Cool, so I have... I have an Italian striker, which is awesome. And then I have more contracts. I got a silver contract, which is always great. I have player fitness cards. And I got a stadium. I'll put all of these in my club. Oh, man. I got to... Okay. So I feel like I have a strong pack, a strong pack of cards that I got playing. Again, I will probably record some more of these games here and there just so you guys can see my team progress through time. I will never spend an ounce of real money on this game. And you guys have my word on that. And I will literally grab myself to the top and you guys will be able to see kind of the progression of my team going from an okay bronze level team to a possible really heart fear striking you know, maybe a mixture of silver and gold players where I would just be able to literally just grab myself and make the team that much better. So, yeah, Merry Christmas to all. Once again, feel free to comment on this video. Feel free to comment on the Madden videos for your chance to win a $25 Amazon gift card. Again, not everybody who comments will get the gift card, but you will be entered in a drawing that I will personally hold to grant somebody who comments on this video or the Madden videos a $25 Amazon gift cards. So, once again, thank you guys so much for sharing this Christmas with me. Thank you guys for watching during this Christmas season or anytime you guys watch my videos. Thank you guys so much. It's been two years. I don't get a lot of views, but every view that you guys give me, I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Merry Christmas. If I don't see you guys before New Year's, but I think I will. Happy New Year's. Take care. Be happy. Take care of each other. 
and just realize you get one life. This has been Mr. KB, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.